Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here. Oh, I think I whistled then. And uh, this is another open with me, and as you can see, it is simply crochet. So um, while I'm trying to get into this, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Oh, I don't know what that was. A bit of print, I think, on the hand. Okay. Right. That's empty now. So we've got a couple of... We've got the magazine. We have... Any 12 cards for £10 advert. And we've got a little supplement of the Elma Edit and Learn New Techniques booklet. So we'll come to those freebies. We'll do the magazine first. I think the um, the card thing is just um, oh, an advert, really. It's a Cornwall company. I don't know how much the cards are, but anyway. Okay, so this looks interesting. We've got retro. Go retro. So we've got rainbows and flowers in uh, throws and cushions. We've got kind of, I'd say granny square, but it's done in a triangular fashion. We've got, oh no, we've got the <laughs> watermelon jumpers again. Uh, we've got, these are pretty cool though placemats that look like look like records i actually like that and a rubik's cube <laughs> tissue box cover and a, a teapot that's the whole thing looks no it is a tea cozy uh what else have we got 32 must have patterns we have who's this um hook a champion and we've got a summer tote bag um that's it really um hopscotch rug summer skirt bottle holder and much more okay so here's our, our champion so obviously this is to do with um our ladies football team that does so much better than our male football team and actually does win some trophies okay well let's have a look so we've got oh, a cassette bag it's like a mixtape bag um a wall hanging the bottle holder goes, my sister wants something very similar to this, but she wants to put her phone in it. Um, but yeah, she's been after me making her something very similar along these lines, but to put her phone and stuff in. Then we've got the, the crochet along there doing. The hopscotch. Well, when, I, when they said hopscotch rug, I, I imagined that you'd be able to play hopscotch, that it would be that big, not just a little kind of imitation of one. At least these um, watermelon um, pullovers don't look like watermelons, just the colour of. There's the the, the throw. We've um, got a, a pullover. I'm not very keen on these kind of sleeves, but, you know, a lot of people do love them. Um, we've got the skirt, which is a bit odd. It's kind of like half denim and then a bit of um, yarn at the bottom. Roughly, ruffle kind of thing this might be might be up your street and then we've got these rainbow ones the tote bag and subscribe and get your hands on this yarn bundle of stylecraft recreate i don't know if that's soft or not it's i do stock a lot of stylecraft in my shop hobbyrocks.co.uk but i don't stock that one so i don't know how soft recreate is it sounds like a recycled yarn i carry enough recycled yarns in my shop at the moment so i didn't get any others but if you uh, look in the description box below you'll find a link to my shop and two voucher codes one or the other you've got a new customer one or the shipping one you can use either so here we go animal pot covers and i actually need to buy some plant pots ones not the, the ones you put the plants in, but the ones you display them in. So that if I water them, they're not all over the place. So um, I was thinking of getting some of these pouch pals. The only thing is, there's nothing ever that shows you how big they are when they're made. There's, um, it wasn't until recently that I went into a, a shop nearby and she did stock some of the... Um, 
the other ones that they that are by the same company. Um, well, they were huge. And I didn't know that because you just see the box and there's nothing to give you perspective. So likewise, there's nothing to give you perspective on these pouch pals. Now, the word pouch does imply they're tiny, doesn't it? But I don't know. I'd like to see one, I guess. If any of you know, perhaps you can let me know in the uh, comment section. So here we go. We've got loveys, best of friends. Um, never made a lovey, funnily enough. I've kind of made a similar thing, but not, not with a head on it. Anyway, this is ideas, inspiration, accessories, websites, events and stuff. Right, what we got? Wow, festival wear. I don't... Well, what? How much? Um, get the pattern for 3 35 or buy both the pattern and all the yarn you'll need for 16 to £25. Pounds. So maybe it's only bits. I don't know. I don't know. It seems excessive anyway. Rather a lot of money for that yarn. Um, what we got? Books. We've got Mini Amigurumi Ocean over here 7 99 that's quite cheap especially if you get all of those mini amigurumis in there that's quite a reasonably priced book all new 20 to make flowers 6.99 well they're making some more realistically priced books by the looks of it crochet baby blankets by christy simpson and that's only 8.99 and then cute kawaii Cute kawaii cross stitch, and that's sixteen ninety nine. So there you go, not bad. Sort of reasonably priced books for a change. Um, now we've got the bits and pieces that people send in, and the fab finds. It's all about plants, I think. About the only plants I wouldn't kill, to be honest with you, are the ones that you uh, make with a crochet hook. So this is the retro collection. So we've got an embellishment for a t-shirt. I kind of like the Rubik's Cube idea. That's pretty sweet. The mixed tape bag. Very cool. Very fashionable at the moment, actually, because because of Guardians of the Galaxy and a few other things, actual tapes have come back into fashion. And I don't know about you, but I managed to sell all mine at car boot sales and don't have a tape machine anymore. So, um, But I probably had a fortune um in my cupboards but uh, they're gone now so there we are we've got the records i like those I actually do quite like those um this is a, a, a kind of a gamer's wall hanger that one and then we've got the teapot based upon the test card which if you're from the uk you'll know what that is if you're well i don't think you will know if you're young but when TV used to go off, it doesn't go off anymore. It's all throughout the night. But I can remember as a child, especially if we weren't tired and suddenly it was good night. And then all of a sudden you'd get this little dot in the screen and you'd get this tone like, Doo! and it'd be, oh no. And sometimes you'd get a test card for a while. And it was either this or there'd be a little girl with a balloon and an easel which um, was the one for the daytime, I think. So this is the roller skate motif and the, the patterns for what we've just had a look at. We'll move on. That's kind of nice, but it's just an advert, sadly. Probably can get the, um, the pattern somewhere. Now this is called Make a Point Triangle Effect. It's only a triangle effect, they are squares. And there we are, and that's the pattern of how to put it together. And it goes from a size small to a 2XL. We've got the team player. Um, Women's World Cup special. So there we go. Not bad at all. Especially if you've got a, a young girl who likes football. Soccer, according to the rest of the world. Adverts. Subscribe and get the yarn bundle. When you subscribe, you get how many? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Probably says it somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> right at the top. Oh well. Fourteen ball yarn bundle from Starcraft. 
this recreate and there's this crochet along that goes along with it so there we are if you fancy that that's the um bit i'll linger on it and you can pause it and get the details if you want heather's journal never read that bit let me just move on um what's this looking for a good yarn visit our website no visit mine flirty fun this is called the cheeky ruffle it's actually quite a cool idea to be honest with you although i wouldn't fancy kind of ripping up one of my skirts to make it but if you had one that was you know seen better days then that's not a bad idea or you could convert a pair of shorts into a skirt couldn't you mm, nice i quite like it i think it's unusual anyway come in waves this is called big um baggy arms i can't remember what they're called now they got bell sleeves or something can't remember but i can remember my mum bought me a few dresses when i was a child that had these because it was all the fashion back then to have these kind of like loopy bottoms it'd be all tight to there and then this well they used to get in the way so much but there's a nice lot of detail on this uh cardigan um we've got these now i can see now from the up you know being up close that the bob the bobbles the uh rainbow so we've got normal kind of granny and then we've got these bobbles so that's kind of sweet we've got ice creams and rainbows and cupcakes by the looks of it i think that might just be a heart that's kind of a bit wonky looks like a cupcake judging by the others they're all hearts hearts and rainbows it's quite nice though parody there we go picture in its entirety Animal Instincts. So this is um, Jen Starbird, a US-based crochet artist who uses hyper-realistic amigurumi to bring creatures from the wild, her imagination, and even the prehistoric past to life. There we go. There are some clever people around, aren't there? Happy Days. So, yeah, this is the um, hopscotch, but as you can see by the size of the feet, it's not realistic. It's just just a decor. But if they've made it bigger, could actually use it as hopscotch in the house with like a little um, crocheted stone. That would have been cool. Nothing to stop anyone doing that, though, I suppose. So this is the water pouch or the... the... There's two different ones. This is where they give two artists two designers the same yarn and ream it and they come up with a design each and you can do either and there they are that those are the bottle holders so then in the crochet along golden moments blanket these are the squares that are around today so we've got music notes a tree and a normal granny and that's how to do those on those pages there Behind the skeins, <laughs> I like the clown the words there, we answer your biggest questions about independently dyed yarns from who makes them and how they've created them and how they're sold and where to find them. Oh, okay. Hot property, so this is the bag. Um, I've seen quite a few places selling these handles. Um, the prices in Hobbycraft have gone ridiculous. I I noticed that last time I went in there and did any kind of filming in there. Um I wasn't impressed at all. So this looked on the on the surface of it like a granny flower, but when you see it up close it's quite quite loopy. Quite a loopy one. And oh there we've got the summer fruits again, so I think it's a watermelon, but you know me. It could be not. It could be something else. I often get it wrong. Usually amigurumis, but. So C is for colour work. So we're talking about colours. And there's some different yarns uh, on here as well. It always amazes me how you can get the you view these yarns and you'll get yarn from 99p. And then well, that one's £3. That one's £2.70. One forty. They're not too expensive today, but they are all 50 gram balls. So that's, you know, I think 
25 gram ball for the 99p. Yeah. Actually, I could, one of my wholesalers sells that Hello Cotton petite ball. But I've never really wanted to stop the really small balls. I can remember when I was young and you go to the yarn shop, all, all yarn balls were kind of 25 grams. And then you'd get, you started getting 50 gram balls in and then 100 grams seemed huge. <laughs> it's not though, is it really now? It's the norm. Okay, so this is the show us yours bit where people send in their bits and bobs. How much yarn should I buy? So uh, how to work it out for your patterns and everything else. Um, and what about yarn for my stitch pattern? No, just a bit of advice type stuff. Right, so all of these, you can get three issues from £5. They stopped doing this a while back when the cost of living went sky high for everybody. And you couldn't get hold of any of these for um, £5 now. But Simply Crochet three issues is £9.99. Um, and where are we? What ones are five? Cross stitching is six. Um, your home. Uh, the knitter is six. I've never seen that in the shops, I have to say. The knitter magazine. Um, but I have obviously more well-known ones. So in the next issue, we've got a kind of granny tank top. Uh, we've got some kind of party squares. Let's see. Winter accessories collection already. Granny square tank top. Cute Ami koala. Thanks for the heads up. I probably wouldn't have recognised it. Um, Geo Hexagon Blanket, Baby Booties, Forget Me Not Necklace, Colourful Motive Scarfs, Colour Pop Cushion, Pretty Shawl, Chic Wall Hanging, Oh No, and more. If you've missed an issue, there's how you get hold of the back issues. And then we've got the usual, um, oh, there's the American offer, saving 69%. And a lot of people have said, though, that Unfortunately, they always arrive battered with the gifts missing because they fell out. So um, I think they need to work on the packaging. You know, maybe put it in some sturdy, sturdy plastic because my parcels don't break open all the way to the USA, even though they've got crochet hooks in them. And, you know, anything that might be in there that could make it holy. I've put scissors, crochet hooks, all sorts of hard objects. And I've never had one come open yet. Anyway, Crochet Essentials gives you the step-by-step -step guides, even on how to do a chain on that particular one. There's the charts and diagrams, which I always love. So if you wanted to adapt the hopscotch to a bigger thing in the house for winter fun, there you go. All you've got to do is make a ball, go with it. And uh, there we go. That's the magazine. All done and dusted. Put that over there. So this is Elmer. He's an elephant and um, I'd never heard of him until I bought one of my grandsons a book. I think it was Harley. Um, but this is Hook Up a Patchwork Playmate. So you can make an actual Elmer elephant. He is kind of sweet. don't like his eyes much though. I think they could have done a bit better with the eyeballs. Never mind. I'm sure he's fine. There we go. So this is Learn New Techniques. Essential Guide Crochet Masterclass. Crochet cables, Tunisian and Entrelac, Intarsia colour work, and six great patterns to make, step by step instructions with photos, and we've got a nice wavy wall hanging. You know how I feel about wall hangings, but you know, I'm sure people love them, just not me. So, what have we got first? Colourful cables, so we can make um, some boot covers. And that tells you how to do it all on those pages. And that's what they look like. Kind of cute. It's called Tangerine Twist. We're thinking about winter already, aren't we? Extended and half stitches. So to make waves. That's quite, in, well, self-explanatory. Sea to sky, that one's called. Really? I suppose I've not had many orange and yellow skies well oh i suppose i do at sunset I have some glorious sunsets around here changing color the most of color work techniques and a few charts as well this is called dive right in 
looks like a book cover. It's Tunisian Entrelac. I don't know, do you call it Entrelac or Entrelac? I don't know. I tend to think of it as Entrelac, like, you know. So this is called Check It Out. And I think they, yes, yes, was the Tunisian Entrelac again. Making a little cape for your pooch. Gingham style. We've got some mosaic crochet and simple ones, which don't look simple, but they're not that difficult, really. Um, so there, there we go. Showing you in depth how to do that. Uh, bathroom Bliss. So this is kind of a bath mat, I guess. I still don't know where my bath mat went. I was making one. Interlocking. Fascinating weaving techniques. It shows you how to do all that. And there we are. So we've got Pot It Up. It's a pot stand. And there's the charts and diagrams. As you know, I do love a chart. So not too many of those. So that's it this time. What do you like, if anything? Are you into the retro stuff? I quite like the records. I still do. I mean, that would be a really cool place, Matt, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. So there we go. That's this this particular month's Simply Crochet. Let me know what you think. Um, are you into this um, retro stuff? Do you like the rainbow bits? Um, I'll, uh, and what about the supplements? Are you impressed? So thanks for watching. Stay safe and I will see you on the next one, which I think is a Simply Knitting. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.